Hey, it's Matt from Rough Out Studios, and welcome to the California Lightworks Solar System 550 Auto Flower Grow Series. This is episode three, the last episode covering the harvest. This series is sponsored by California Lightworks. If you'd like to learn more about or purchase their lights, visit CaliforniaLightworks.com and find a code in the description to save yourself some money. Now, before we jump into the harvest, we're going to cover, uh, recap the last episode, which the plants had grown into these small but beautiful, loaded with buds and trichomes plants. There's two on the right there were grandmother, grandma perp, and these two here are forbidden runts. Just dusty, beautiful looking little plants. And now we're going to harvest them and get the yield and find the potency. So it's come that time now to cut these little plants. Now these are really small plants, I will acknowledge. There was sort of a whim to do this grow series with these uh, autoflower plants. And, but the plants, they, they kind of just had a little trouble starting out and they just started flowering immediately. But instead of throwing them away, I figured it would be fun to experiment with them and see how they did under this light. And despite their small size, I'm real happy with the quality of the buds. Real beautiful, colorful buds coated with the trichomes as you can see they're really beautiful i wish there was a lot more of them but uh there we go we've got the four plants cut now so we're going to dry them and get the weight of them and as i said before something new that we're going to do is we're going to also test the potency of them and see how much uh, cannabinoids are on them <music> Okay, so the plants have been drying for a couple of weeks now, and they're getting to that crunchy stage where I'm going to uh, take them down and trim them and weigh them up. Uh, it's been kind of humid in my location during this time, so it took a little longer to get to that stage. And unfortunately, I lost one of the plants. I was really un upset about that, but the, the bigger of the two forbidden runts had white mold in it that had got out of control, and I lost the one. All right, despite having lost the plant, we're going to still go ahead there and uh, get these trimmed up and weigh them. And then we'll sort of estimate how much we would have had with that other plant as well. And I'm real happy with the buds here. The smell is really good. It's one of the best as far as carrying over uh, the phenomes of the plant. And you can see they're just loaded with the trichomes, kind of a messy looking right there, but just loaded plants and having a lot of fun with uh, trimming them. Super sticky. I'm going to have to put some gloves on here in a minute. And then uh, getting a pretty good bit of keef in the bottom of the pan too there and this is the grandma the yeah the grandma perps there's that second picture the first one was the runs punch uh, but yeah despite having lost the one plant I uh, still ended up with uh, what I would estimate to be five and a quarter ounces like I said not a very big yield but really good quality buds and off of some plants that were just kind of not likely to produce very much anyway because they were so small Okay, and this is something new for the grow series is that we're going to test the estimated amount of cannabinoids in the plant. Now this will tell us a total of THC and CBD and all the cannabinoids, but it's, it's going to mostly be THC, so we'll get a good estimate of the quality of the buds. Uh, I expected it to be pretty good because the plants looked so good and the colors and, uh, like I say, the phenomes that should have been in the plants really expressed themselves properly. So the, the two runts punched looked like the way they should, smelled the way they should, so fruity and all, and the same with the grandma perps. So with this process, I make a dilution of it in alcohol, and I'm estimated that 17.3% total cannabinoids in the runts and 16.8% in the grandma perps. Not cannabis cup winning, but I'm really happy with it. Again, this series is sponsored by California Lightworks. You can find a code in the description of the video to save some money at CaliforniaLightworks.com. I hope you enjoyed this series. If you did, hit the like button. Find me on Instagram at Rough House Studios and visit RoughHouseStudios.com for hundreds of cannabis culture videos that I made just for you. This is Matt from Rough House Studios. Thanks for watching.